as you saw in the thumbnail, there is a Ford sitting in our driveway. Why is there a Ford sitting in my driveway? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what to say. Hey, um, whose Ford is that? Not ours. It's not ours? What do you mean it's not ours? What if I bought it? Would you be mad at me? Listen, I'm waiting on a Ford. I figured it'd be a good idea just to go ahead and get a Ford. Now, did I trade the GMC in or anything like that? I mean, I don't know. What, do you, you don't even know what I did, do you? You know what I did. We talked about it last night when you were sleeping. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, man, like, you guys have to understand, like, we just got a house, right? And we're not full timing, so I don't really need a diesel right now. And I'm ordering a Ford, so I figured they might give me more money on a Ford truck if I trade it in. So I'm just kidding. I don't know what I did, but we're going to find out in this video. I just, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Like, I'm just building content. That's more or less what I'm trying to do. But we got to go outside, and we have to go check out this Ford. Is it a 7.3? Is it a 6.2? If it's F350, the 6.2 has a 10 speed. And it's a pretty base model Ford F-350, so it could be a 6.2, could be a 7.3, could be a 6.2, who knows? Let's go outside and see what it is. Okay, did I really Photoshop a Ford in front of my house to pretend like I got a Ford? Did I do that? I don't think I did, because I see a Ford sitting in front of my house. What in the world did I do? Oh no. Listen. That exhaust brake was so weak on the GMC, I decided to just go ahead and get a gas truck. Because at the end of the day, if I don't have an exhaust brake, what's good is a diesel? Right? Right? Anybody? Okay. Here's the moment of truth. Is there a truck in that garage? It is down. I know the suspense is going to probably kill some people, but you know what? This is a good time to ask you to subscribe, just in case I don't show you if I still have the GMC. I got a base model Ford F-350. You know that this is definitely my truck, right? You know I don't buy 250s, three quarter tons. And let's see if it has fifth wheel prep. Let's see if it has that. And then for sure, oh, it has fifth wheel prep package. Holy smokes. And this is a 7.3. It could be a 6.2, but I can assure you it is a 7.3. We're gonna pop the hood here in a second. But check that out. The RV is over there. It's just waiting to figure out how good this gas truck is going to be. Hold on, let's go ahead and look in here real quickly. Oh, I don't have the key. Or maybe I do. Hold on. I don't have the key. Okay, it's inside. We're going to do some tests to see just how good this 7.3 liter is. I am so stinking excited. So the moment of truth, did I sell the GMC? Let's open the garage and see. Wrong button. Oh, we still have the GMC, guys. It's still here. I can't give up the GMC. I just can't right now. There's still some more tests I want to do with it. And I still need to do the fuel filters. I want to see how easy they are compared to Rams. But yeah, this is actually not my truck. This is a truck that I borrowed. And I only did it for just strictly doing some towing and just some unloaded tests. I wanted to see, can I go from always being a diesel fanboy to a gas pickup a lot of people have been doing it and so can i do it because i don't think i'm strong enough the idea of starting this truck off and hearing that gas engine compared to a diesel it's really hard to like it's really hard to think about so here's the deal we have the gmc still we're going to do some tests comparing the duramax to the 73 and I wish I could have a power stroke, but hey, I don't have one right now. So this is what we have to do. But this is a great option. This truck gets pretty good gas miles unloaded. And as you saw recently, it got great gas miles towing. So what we're gonna do is some tests. So be sure to lock into JB Reviews. And listen, I 
figured out a way to get access to more trucks too. So I'm gonna be bringing my black trailer up here. It's gonna be in this side of the garage. And we're gonna basically be doing some towing tests with the black trailer. Half tons. As you guys know, Toyota just came out with the uh, twin turbo V6. So I really wanna test it out. But man, look at that GMC. That looks good. I really, really do love this truck. And do I miss my Ram? Kinda. But you guys just don't know how excited I am. Like, you don't understand. Like, it's been a long time. Like, I've had a few opportunities to tow with this truck, but I couldn't make it work because either we were living in an RV full time or I just couldn't get it to work out for time's sakes. But, yeah. I love the diesel, but can I love the gas truck? That is the question. And this Lariat is like a base model, and I love the interior. Check it out. I'll show you guys around it in another video. But really nice interior. And overall, I think they did a great job with selecting options because this truck has a big payload. We're gonna go over payload when we do our towing video. So stay tuned for that. I'm not even gonna go over the axle ratio with you guys because all that information is gonna be about towing. And we're gonna go over that in another video. Oh, what's up, buddy? What are you doing? Nothing. Cool. Just taking the trash out. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for your services. All right, so I'm gonna move the Duramax into the driveway so we can see them side by side. And then like I said, we're gonna have to pull both trucks in the garage because I wanna see how they both fit. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but we'll do it in the next one. Look how dirty the camera is on this GMC. Like it is terrible. Like, it has been snowing non-stinking stop here in Utah. Like, I've talked to a couple guys that live here, and they all say, oh, man, we never get this much snow. And, yeah, I get here, and you guys get all the snow. But it doesn't matter. I actually like the snow. I just like it more when it's Christmas time. All righty, so here they are side by side. A few people in the comment section on previous videos said that GMCs don't really like HDs. And uh, I beg to differ. This truck looks really, really burly. And I actually like the way it looks with the uh, front grill cover too. But this definitely is like a burly truck. And who can deny that AT4 too? I love the way it looks. Now I wish this truck had a little bit more options or at least like a night edition, just to kind of help it to look good against this GMC. But let's just face it, black paint, I don't like it. But man, it just looks so much nicer than white. I've always bought white because white doesn't show swirls. But I'm willing to live with the swirls when we have a nice truck like this. But that will pretty much end it here. Stay tuned. I got some great videos coming. And as I said, I'm going to start getting some more trucks for the channel. For towing, for fuel economy runs, things like that. See you guys in the next video.